Hi, I'm going to show you some great pandas plotting features that you can easily use that will take your visualization and data frames to the next level. So I'm going to bring in the data that I want using the Seaborn package. So let's take a look at uh, how we're going to get that data into our Jupyter Notebook. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to import Seaborn as SNS and that's going to be our variable. We're going to import pandas as PD. Then we're going to load the data set tips using the SNS variable and saving that as DF short for data frame. Then we're just going to look at 10 rows of our data set using the iLock method. So now that we brought the data in, we can actually start looking at how to style a data frame. And we can look at conditional formatting, highlighting, and a couple other ways. So let's take a look at that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create some conditional formatting. And I can do that just by taking my data frame variable, using dot style, and then dot background gradient to get a default gradient for our numeric values. Now the first thing you might notice is that the floats are quite long. We have a lot of trailing decimal places. We can format this by chaining a format option in before the background gradient. And let me just show you that. So I'm going to write format. And then I'm going to pass in the parameter precision equals. And I'm just going to use one. We can see now that data frame is only one trailing decimal. So we can see that that conditional formatting has given us a gradient and a precision of one for our decimal places. We can pass in other parameters such as the C map to get a little different look at our data. So I'm going to do cool warm and we can change the color mapping. Next, we can use conditional formatting to create a bar. We're also using that format and precision to make sure our floats are short. And then we're using dot bar to add a bar to our particular column. We can also set the or subset also. For example, I can parameter subset and then pass in a column name. And if I run this, now it will only exist on one particular column. We can also provide a color to change that particular formatting. Next, let's continue. Let's look at highlighting. So we can use the same data set to create a highlight. So we're using the same data frame, dot style, formatting our floats to only bring one decimal plate and highlighting between 5 and 12. And we use the parameter left for the lowest value and right for the highest value. So we only want to highlight values between 5 and 12. And you can see that highlighted in these particular sections because we only subset it the bill. Next, we can look at a different form of highlighting, which allows us to hover over and highlight each individual row. Our code allows us to highlight our data frame and each row will be increased in a particular formatting. We can also increase the text size. So what we're doing is we're using the data frame dot style format using our precision and then using set table styles. We are using this, the dictionary and passing in selector and using TR hover so we can get the hover effect. Then we want to add the background color, so which is yellow, and the font size, which we can change. And this allows us to have this hover effect. Next, what we want to be able to do is use many different types of styles all together. And we can do this with a function. So we're just adding our 
bar, a background gradient, and highlighting between and passing that into a function using style as our argument. Then the way we pass this in is using the dot pipe and passing in our function name, which will allow us to have multiple types of formatting on one particular data frame. Next, let's jump in to plotting engines. So I'm going to load in the tips data set again. And now you can see that I've created a plot using the group by, and I'm grouping by day, using the total bill, looking at the mean, and plotting and passing in a bar. However, this is not the normal matplotlib bar. This is using a different plotting engine and you can see that we can pass that in using the pandas options, plotting, backend, and then we pass in the plotting engine. So we can change that plotting engine to plotly, and we can run that again so we have a different engine creating our result. You can use multiple types of engines. We can go back to the matplotlib. But I'm a, I'm a fan of this particular engine because it looks a little bit better. We can also use Bokeh, which is another visualization engine, to create a little bit more interesting plotting. I can use the DF, which is my data frame, and dot .plot, which is a pandas function, and then dot .scatter, and pass in my X and Y variables and use the category sex to create this interactive scatter plot. And I am using the bouquet engine using the pandas option plotting back end. The interesting thing with pandas bouquet is you have the ability to select between categories. And of course, because it's an interactive plot, we can zoom. These are just some very quick and easy ways you can highlight and make your plotting a lot more interesting using some of the plotting features in Pandas. I hope that was interesting and helped you get some quick wins when you're styling your data frames and using the plotting options in the backends with Pandas.